We are back. It's the Alex Jones Show. I'm Jason Burma sitting in as Alex Jones has boots on the ground in Hardin, Montana, at the FEMA camp, at the privatized military mercenary training center that doesn't exist, according to the majority of the mainstream media and talking heads out there, the people that don't want to report the truth to you. I got to thank one of the uh, sponsors. And then we're going to go to some of the news that I haven't hit up. Just a huge stack of news I have not been able to play out, and it is unbelievable. We're going to go through that, and we're going to go to your phone calls, and then Alex coming up at the end of the show. MySolarBackup.com, that's MySolarBackup.com, 877-327-0365. A lot of things can cut off your electrical power, hurricanes, snow, ice storms, and more. How about an 1,800-watt generator powered by the sun? You can get that and much, much more over at MySolarBackup.com, 877-327-0365. Obviously, this is the most important story of the day, but we do have to hit on some of these mandatory vaccination stories because... Apparently, there aren't mandatory vaccinations, if you believe Lord Obama. However, you look at this right here. It's off of CBS News. Open letter to New York State over mandatory vaccination. That's the headline. You see, they are telling people you will lose your job if you don't take the shot. You will end your career. Take the squalene. Take the formaldehyde. Take the mercury. Meanwhile, you know, we talked a little bit about the police state control grid. I wanted to play you a video of the upcoming Google Earth and the demonstrations on how it is going to triangulate where you go to and then use CCTV cameras to show you live video images. This is what's available to the public, folks, to the public. Doubt me. I don't think we're going to have time to play it on this show, but perhaps we'll play it tomorrow. Uh, you know, we only have about 34 minutes, and there's so much breaking news going on. We're going to post it over at Prison Planet and Infowars.com. But that ties into this story. EU launches free satellite system to fine-tune GPS. Remember, they're always here to help. They're always here because they love you. No, they're not here to help. They're not here because they love you. They're here to surveil you, to put you in the control grid. The European Union launched a free satellite navigation network on Thursday that could help pilots, drivers, and blind people by fine-tuning the accuracy of U.S. global positioning system to around two meters. They are closing in. That's what this is about. Meanwhile, the push for a carbon tax and climate sustainability moves on. Salon.com. What's the headline? Contraception fights global warming. This is about a one-child policy. This is about demonizing you for having more children. They're saying your carbon footprint is killing the environment. No, it's not. It's a total lie. Meanwhile, they've had a thousand mayors sign on to the Climate Protection Pledge. A lot of well-meaning idiots out there, folks. And I was sitting there watching Barbara Boxer grandstand yesterday on C-SPAN as I threw up in my own mouth. September 30th, 2009, U.S. Conference of Mayors President Seattle Mayor Greg Nichols says that by Friday, a thousand mayors representing 85 million Americans will have signed the U.S. Conference of Mayors Climate Protection Agreement since it was introduced in February of 05. The announcement of a thousandth mayor, mayoral signature, signatory and his or her city will take place during the conference leadership meeting. This is about a push to tax you for breathing. This is about a push to tax you for having more than one car. This is about a push to tax you for having a large home. Total enslavement. And they're getting ready, folks. They're going into the poor areas. They're making FEMA camps. And they're bringing in private mercenary forces. The reason I'm yelling is because it is crazy to me that no one is standing up to this. It's insanity. It's madness. And meanwhile, they have this well-meaning idiot, this nice PR lady, Becky Shea, who just got the biggest paycheck of her life and is defending it. Meanwhile, it's run by a multiple convicted felon who uses over a dozen aliases and currently has a million dollar lawsuit in which he lost pending against him that's not jason burmis that's the billings gazette that's the associated press that's usa today but you'll just tell me it doesn't exist you'll laugh in my face as they point the weapons at you while they speak a foreign language and tell you to comply 
while you're on your knees with your hands on your head waiting for instructions, you'll say it doesn't exist. While they're taking your home, while they have your daughter or wife in the other room having their way with her as she screams for help and you can't do anything because you're a yellow belly coward. That's what's going down. And Alex Jones is on the ground right now, risking his well-being, risking his staff to bring this news to you because it is that important. It might be the story of the year. Meanwhile, mandatory vaccinations go on. They're telling the military, you have to take the shot. By the way, you're going to take an anthrax shot, too. How do you like that? We're going to take your calls after this. Alex Jones coming up. Infowars.com, prisonplanet.tv, Jason Burmis subbing in for Alex. We're you can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Gore Vidal will have a dictatorship soon in the United States, and he doesn't know how right he is. This is the Times Online out of the UK. Just an extensive article about how he, too, was duped by Obama and he thought that change was coming. Well, the change is here, and it's not what anybody expected. And uh, he's calling it like he sees it. We'll have a dictatorship soon in the United States. And one of those steps is having privatized mercenary and military forces on the streets. And it's happening in Hardin, Montana, as we speak. We're going to open the phone lines up. Matt in Montana. Matt, you're on the line. Yes, sir. How's it going? It's it's rough today. I'm not gonna lie. This is a tough story to deal with because uh -huh. it is reality. I, I gotta tell you, um, me and me and a friend investigated uh, the scene yesterday before Alex got there. I was trying to get a hold of you guys, but uh, you know it's really hard to get a hold of you. But um, we got in and we interviewed uh, Becky Shea, and I got a lot of great footage of the uh, you know every just about every room, a lot of good stuff like that, but. Uh, we were there for a few hours, and we did not see, um, God, I'm just really nervous, sorry. That's okay. Um, uh, we didn't see any Blackhawk helicopters or any paramilitary forces around. The only, uh, the only thing we saw was her SUV just come up right to us as we got into the parking lot. And did but, it have the decals um, on at that point, or had they taken them off? Uh, it was just a plain looking uh, black SUV, and I was mm -hmm. wondering, you know, it was Becky. You know, she mm -hmm. just came. She was talking to an uh, Associated Press uh, reporter on the phone, um, but uh, she managed to say, "Hey, you, you guys want to come in and look at the place? Pre I mean, the the place. You know, you guys." Look like your media, so come on well, in. Well, I mean, she she's a well-meaning person who's been thrust into this position. She probably didn't think it was going to be such a media storm so quickly. But let's just look at the American police force decals that were on there and how Orwellian and what they represent. First of all, they're not Americans, okay? This guy, Michael Hilton, not an American. He's a convicted felon with numerous aliases with ties to foreign government and mercenary agencies. Number two, they're not a police force. They admittedly cannot police the public there. So what is going on? They're prepping the American public. Again, just because there weren't troops there yesterday or perhaps today doesn't mean they're not you know, going to bring them in. I mean, if you read the Associated Press stories, she says, yes, this will be a training facility. Uh, the only thing that she's denying is that it will be used as a Gitmo-type detention center. So she's saying that all the prisoners that are going to be held here will be domestic, in other words, from the United States. But they don't necessarily have to be from Montana, which is also troubling. But what troubles me the most is who they put in charge, how this is a private operation, and how they're bringing in foreign troops, Matt. Matt, I hope you post those videos over to YouTube. Send them to rob at infowars.com and articles at infowars.com, and we will post those ASAP. I thank you for the call. Let's jump to Paul in Oregon. Paul, you're on the line. Thanks. Thank you for having me on. Yes, sir. Uh, I spoke to Blackwater directly today. I wanted to point out that earlier today, the, the gentleman you thought spoke to Blackwater actually had corrected himself and said he sp spoke to APF. I called Blackwater myself. They okay. adamantly deny this. Um, they, basically what they said is uh, the lady who answered the phone, um, as soon as I brought up APF in Montana, she transferred me to a lady who would, would not identify herself. Um, wanted to know who I was, what organization I was with, um, 
what part of the country I was from, um, and said that APF is illegally using um, Blackwater uh, insignias and symbols, and they're thinking about taking action against them. So wait a minute, what you're telling me is that Blackwater is saying that APF is illegally using their logos and logos and insignias, and they're trying to distance yes. themselves from this organization? That is what they told me, and I want to urge people to call 252-435-2488. That is the direct number to U.S. Training Center, which um, is the, the place in, in um, North Carolina that you guys have posted in some of your uh, articles. And they, they won't, they won't uh, identify who they are or who you're speaking with, and they'll ask a lot of questions of you. Um, but they will, you know, I just, I just encourage everyone to call there and ask questions and to find out what is really going on here. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the call, Paul. Let's go to.